Hey YouTube, just got back from a local card shop and I'm going to show you everything that I bought. I bought a lot of stuff so it's gonna, I'm gonna quickly run through it as well as include a deck profile that I bought for a buddy of mine. I'm trying to get him into the game. He's gonna be the one that's gonna help me record duels if I ever get that far. So I'm gonna show you the quick zombie deck that I built him and then everything else I bought. It's mostly goat format stuff, however there are a few things that I bought just because of how cool they looked or other things I want to do with the cards. Everything is also in Japanese because I do live in Japan. So we have his zombie deck. You'll notice that a lot of things are missing within the deck. It doesn't look great and that's fine. Like I said, I bought this almost entirely out of a commons box that they had. Or boxes. It took about an hour and a half of looking for everything. So I think for what I was doing, I did pretty good. Um, I am missing a lot of the spell staples, unfortunately. They did not have any Pot of Greeds, Graceful Charities, Delinquent Duos, and they only had one Book of Life. I would preferably like to run two Book of Lifes, but it is what it is. So there's the monster lineup for zombies. Here's the spells. Again, it's going to look very depleted. These are Super Book Moons, thankfully much cheaper in Japan than they are in English. Uh, English Book Moons, or I guess TCG Book Moons, Super Rares, I think are going upwards of 300 last time I looked. These ones, not nearly as much, that's for sure. Trap lineup, missing Mirror Force. The store only had one Mirror Force. It was more expensive than what I wanted to spend on, on his Mirror Force. I could have bought it, but I'll let him pick that up for himself if he decides to play. So I did get three Sakura Etsu armors instead. So that is 40 cards for the entire zombie deck of his. Not too bad, but not too great. Here's just a bunch of normal, uh, well, regular just commons and rares. Again, some of the stuff I just picked up because I like the way it looked. That's it. Let me try to sort it a little bit here. Should have done this beforehand, but eh, no big deal. So this is a card that ever since my last deck profile, I've, become, oh, I've fallen a lot more in love with it. Definitely like the utility of it. Torrential Tributes, you can never use enough of those. Never have enough Breakers either. Air Knights. I don't even know if I run Air Knights in any of my decks anymore, but I thought I bought them because, again, it's just one of those cards that you can never have enough of. I bought this. I was looking for some limited removals. I couldn't find any, but I do want to work on Machine Chaos deck. I think limited removal has a lot of potential in Go format, that's for sure. Steam Gyroid, I don't know why, but I just really like it as a level 6 fusion. I know you can't use it in Go format, which is unfortunate, but I really just enjoy the card. Some Briah, something that maybe... Oh, I never even realized it said. The heck? Is that normal? I never noticed that before. Um, but thanks, something that I think could definitely be of more use within the uh, card game. Or within some decks I might build in the future. This is Dark Chimera, just one of those weird cards from uh, Metal Raiders, maybe? I don't know, I forget which pack this is from, and I don't see a pack name on here. But you can tell by the way it's made that it is from one of them able to pack this. I have no idea what it is, never seen it before. But wow, do I just love the art on it. So I went ahead and picked it up. Night Assailant, another one of my GOAT format favorites. Big Shield Gardener, I ended up picking up three other ones these, I just didn't have... I didn't search through the uh, common pile that I had to go ahead and knock that out. Garuzis, I remember seeing this card a long time ago on the show and wondering, I wonder when we're going to get that in English. I don't think that we got that till Legendary Collection Joey's World, I believe. Um, Furious Sea King. Pick this guy up. Solely because this brings back a lot of memories. I don't know why, but for whatever reason in games, the old Yu-Gi-Oh! games, uh, Forbidden Memories, or there's that GBA game. I can't think of dds dark duel stories this card always ended up being like at the beginning game was like it was my power card it was my go-to so it's super cheap picked it up just because you know why not why not uh, more sukiyomis i only found one magician of faith which is unfortunate can never have enough of these so i do want to pick up a few more of those cyberstein they had a few more of them but they were a little bit too expensive i found only one common Ran the commons box, so went ahead and grabbed it. Wild Hearts. Not goat format, but 
definitely one of the better cards that I do want to make an elemental hero deck just for fun that's going to include like Stratos and three Wild Hearts, three Avions, and oh, you'll see some other stuff. Chaos Horser, you can never have enough of those. Cheer in the Mage. I don't think I have, I don't think I have any of these, so I went ahead and picked up that one. I might have picked up another one that I'm not sure about. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Some more Air Knights. Two Deskwala. Is this Deskwala? I forget. It's the one that inflicts 400 points of damage for each card in your opponent's hand when it's flipped. Never bad to have some of those. Two Knight Assailants. I need two more. Or one more, rather. And the Piercer. Great Spear Soldier. A couple of those, and I'll be able to build um, Be able to build a Gravekeeper's. Three, three flying Kamakaris. Don't know what I'll do with them, but pick them up. Why not? Two Summoner of Illusions. I didn't realize this was even a GOAT format card. Pretty cool, considering you contribute GOAT tokens to summon it. This was a mistake. I actually picked up... Well, there's three Sonic Duck. I picked up a fourth one. Oh, well. I wanted to pick these up anyways. Uh, GoatFormat.com. They had a deck on there a while ago that included three Emissary of Darkness, I think's the name, with three dot Sonic Duck. Thought it was just a cool little deck idea, something I would like to work on. Here's some more machines for some Chaos Machines. Only had two Mechanical Chasers, it looked like, so I do need to find a third one of those. Tiger Axe, another one of those cool, just really old video game cards that I remember. Some Goat Format Fusions that... I have enough copies of, so I probably won't put those into the deck, honestly. Or right now, sleeves for my, my deck. And picked up just a bunch of Noblemans. This, um, Shatterfoil, I think's the rarity. Magical Stone Excavation. Love to have an ultra rare one, but I don't think I'm going to be picking up one of those out here anytime soon. Emergency Provisions. I did want a second one. Only found one, though. I think this will be something to help put into a deck some kind of like burn or stall deck for level energy limit bees or what's the other one messenger of peace to help play around those and then this was there so i picked that up too just can't use it but oh well cool japanese last will three are righteous justice i just wanted to play play set no other reason for that I did find two of these. I've been looking for these for a while. So, I'm definitely glad that I picked those up. And that was it for the spells. Well, the common spells. And for the traps. The Light of Intervention. Three Jar of Greed. Super terrible condition, but they're the only Jar of Greeds I found. I'd love to have some super first ed ones. Uh, in English, of course. Well, TCG. That. Here's something else funny that I got. This is another part of the Elemental Hero deck that I want with. Triple Avion, Triple uh, Wild Heart Stratos, and three Featherwind. I just always love the idea of Featherwind as a card being able to negate any spell or trap for as long as I have an Avion on the field. Just odd. And it's a counter trap. Pretty cool, I think. Gravity Binds. You never know when you're going to need one of these. Right of Spirit. Ceasefire. A Geki Break and Phoenix Swing Wind Blast. A Shatterfoil. That was pretty much it for the commons that I picked up to include that deck. Oop, I also got this. Japanese Cannon Soldier. I love Cannon Soldier. Here are some foils that I picked up. So let me start over on this side. Triple Necro Valley. Mask of Darkness is a gold rare. That's one of my more, my more favorite uh, goat cards. I didn't realize that it came out as a gold rare over here. I do think it was also an ultra rare in a speed pack. Speed dual pack, I believe. Gold rare of those. Call it haunted. Oh, keep hitting that. Two torrents. A lightning vortex. Spirit reaper. Bunch of heavy storms. You can never have enough of those. Same thing with decrees. You never have enough decrees. A couple MSTs. Sangans gold rares. Here, two secret rare DD assailants. What pack is this? 15 AX, a jump card. I don't know what that originally was, but it looks like it was some kind of jump card. Triple Monster Gate for some reasoning Monster Gate shenanigans. I wish I had an ultra rare, or an ultimate rare one of these first dead, but I'll take this. Oh, Soul the Duelist as well. Is that? Yeah. 
Here's something I didn't know they had. Oh, I love this card. Look at that. Super rare camels. What pack this come out of? 17 TP. Is that tournament pack 17? I have no idea what they call them in Japan. But pretty new. And I might just build a deck with them. I didn't pick them up for nothing. A few serpents. You never have enough serpents. Then we have Golver Stratos. Some hollow Sukiyomis. Three gold rare level area limit Bs. Those, those, two Super Cokies, which are much cheaper than Super Kopi, Super Cokies, and TCG. See, this came out as a Super Rare. This is EE, oh, is that Enemy of Justice somehow? I don't know what EE04 is. Don't know what pack that is. But ours is Super Rare and Ultimate. I'd love to have a play set of Ultimate Rares. And here's something that's really cool. I have no idea what rarity this is. But if you can see it, it just has the hieroglyphs on it. I bought a playset of big Shogarnas with those this hieroglyphic rarity. A couple BLS also in the same rarity. Scapegoat. Uh, two Ring of Destructions. Skill Drain. And then three Hollow Book of Moons. One Super, two Ultras actually in the deck, the other two Super Rares for part of three super rares that I bought. Then for the GOAT extra deck cards I bought, in my opinion, the best fusion of the format and one of the coolest card arts in Yu-Gi-Oh! I wish we still had that in English. But I have Dark Balter, Fiend Skull Dragon. Is that Dark Blade the Dragon Champion? I believe. Two Ryu Senshis, who I think is the second best. Incredible card. Pajama King. Wish I had an ultimate or first dead, but no big deal. Some generic stuff from LOB. And now for the last few cards, and these are stuff that I'm going to be putting in a binder. Um, two Feral Imps. I don't know what pack they're from. They're not expensive, they're not crazy, they're not rare. Feral Imp has just always been one of my more nostalgic original cards i do wish that they would create a card that was feral imp equipped with horn of the unicorn and had its alternate art and was 2000 attack and had some kind of cool effect that destroy a field spell or equip spell or something and destroy every monster on the field. i don't know but i love the card art and i love the card the original card art and with the that card design itself this card i have no idea what it is i've only seen it in one Yu Gi Oh game but wow did i see this and just want to pick it up Magical Scientist. Actually, I got two of these. So there's the other one. I'll put that one to sleep, too. Uh, no particular reason. Just wanted them. My favorite archetype of all time. And my favorite deck. Found a common Geyserus. Never seen one of these, but... I didn't realize that Live Destruction Japan's Geyserus, one of the best cards in the TCG, and certainly one of the best cards up to that point in time, 2008 when it came out. Ours was super rare. Still not that expensive, but... Theirs was a freaking common. And I know, like, their dad was Dark on Dragon. Was a rare Judgment Dragon. Might have been a common. I don't know. But they had things that were much, much different. Here we have, is this Bronchio Radi Radius? Something like that. I forget its name. Mammoth of Goldfine, I believe is what it's called. Um, More cards that actually just Yu-Gi-Oh! for Ben Memories. They just jump out and uh, I wanted to go ahead and pick them up. Secret Rare Black Luster Soldier. I am looking for an ultimate rare one, but it's pretty difficult to find high rarity, ex high rarity expensive cards, because some cards are high rarity, but finding the very expensive ones in Japan, a little tough. They don't really have a lot of English cards where I'm at. I think this card just came out of our Gold Sarcophagus 10, I want to say, 20th Jump. Not sure what it is. I think I do have a copy of one in English, but thought the card art was cool so picked it up again summon skull another one of my very uh, favorite old arts or old cards i will pick as many of these up as humanly possible here are just some random alternate rares um some magic specter thing i really don't know the dino card that again i don't know i don't really play Yu Gi Oh up to this point that's for sure buster blader magical sword Destruction guy, and then another card that I've never seen in my life, but alternate rares. 
especially Japanese. Super cheap, super available. Just got them when I could. And here, my favorite card of all time. So I'll pick it up in every rarity possible. I picked up three gold rare Stardust Dragons. Yeah, if you don't know, Stardust Dragons is my absolute favorite card of all time. I need to get a copy of every single rarity, actually. Something that I want to do. And then finally, oh, I saw these and had to pick them. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Three parallel secret gold rare elemental hero shining flame wingman i think parallel secret gold rare something like that but yep that does it for all the cards i picked up please leave a like subscribe and comment if you want more have a good day